It's me. To those of you who visit me regularly here on my channel, you may notice that I am sitting somewhere different than I normally sit. I'm sitting on a flower. No, no. I'm in a completely different space right now. Where, Where am, am I? I? I have some explaining to do. I have a new studio. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, this is beyond ridiculous. By the way, who likes my pink lighting in the background? I, I quite like it. I just moved into my current art room seven or eight months ago, so I haven't been in there for that long. And now I come to you saying, I have a new studio? So why in the world am I sitting here in a new studio with pink lighting, a flower pillow, a fluffy poof, a plant? That's not Fred. What is happening? <clears throat> there is a whole story behind this. I do want to say this video is not just a talky talky video. I'm not going to be talky talky through the whole thing. I have a massive art project that I'm going to be starting in this video. There's going to be a lot of paint, a lot of color. It's going to be big, but first I just need to talky talky a little bit. Now into the story. Flash back two years ago, February 2020. I was still in my old art room at this time, filming videos, loving it, having a ball. I had a deep affection for that art room, but I had lights, cameras, sound panels, all on tripods, lots of cords crammed around me. There wasn't much space to move around. I wasn't personally too bothered by it because I was working in there alone doing smaller scale stuff, but suddenly I started getting ideas for things where they weren't really possible in that room. Like for instance, when I wanted to paint on these giant canvases. I had to drag all my equipment and everything out to my dark, cold garage, which was fine. It wasn't a big deal, but you know, obviously not ideal. I also started getting really interested in the idea of doing collabs and bringing people into my videos, but I knew it was just gonna be too crammed. So because of those reasons, at that point, two years ago, I started looking for a studio space outside of my house that was a little bit more open. And that's when I found this place that I'm sitting my booty in right now. And it's actually on a farm, a literal farm. There are sheep right outside that window, batting. I don't know if they're batting. I can't actually hear them. Now, when we got this place, it was not as you see it today. <laughs> there was no pink swivel chair and fuzzy ottomans and colorful paper rolls. This place was um, a little bit of a mess. It was pretty neglected, dirty, it stank. There was just stuff everywhere. <laughs> dirt and bugs and ah! and this was actually a two level garage that was mostly unfinished the upstairs space which is now a lounge this is the before and this is the after a lot of work and where i'm sitting right now this is what it looked like before real not cute it took us days just to clear everything out oh this one's heavy That was an experience. Found some very interesting things. I don't like it. What is it? Oh. Fun fact, this was actually the workshop of a very avid train collector. So there were like train parts and train sets everywhere, many, many train things. I actually kept a couple of the trains just for sentimental purposes, but but yeah, we cleared everything out, cleaned everything up, and finally we were ready to start renovations about one month later, boom, March of 2020. What a magical, wonderful time for the world. It wasn't great timing. We hit a lot of roadblocks when it came to the renovations and things took much, much longer than anticipated. So I've been working on this in the background for the past two years. I didn't want to mention anything about this project on my channel because it makes me uneasy when people are waiting on something. I feel like rushed, like, oh my gosh, they're waiting for it. I need to hurry up. So I'd rather just be like, bloody surprise. It's here. And you didn't even know it was being worked on. Okay. So like I said, we got this place in 2020. Flash forward to the summer of 2021. We end up getting a new house and deciding to move. I'm moving. 
And it just so happens that at our new house that we moved to, there's this big open basement that works absolutely perfectly that ended up solving pretty much all of the issues that I had in my old art room. So <laughs> if I had known in 2020 that a year later we were gonna be moving to a house with a big open space that was gonna solve all my problems, I probably wouldn't have gone out looking for a separate studio, but that's just the way it happened. But this is a great problem to have, and I'm actually still super excited about this studio, and this space is not going to waste. We have been waiting and working on this thing for two years. It's gonna get used. There are just so many opportunities for different videos in this studio. I have so, so many ideas, ideas because I've been thinking about it for two years. And the first thing that I wanna do is paint a giant mural. I'm anxious, excited about this. I have a lot of nervous energy. <laughs> Where I'm sitting right now is actually not the spot that I set up to film in for most videos. I have right over here a space that I'm working on getting set up to film in. It's got this huge rolling table for my workspace. That chair is where I'll be sitting clearly. And the big white wall is what's gonna be in the background. The white wall is not going to work for me, okay? It needs to go. It is so white, it is so empty. Empty. It is nothing. So that is where I would love to paint a nice big mural to be in the background of my videos. I've never painted an area this big. Those massive canvases that I painted, those would look tiny. I'm a little bit scared. That's a big, big wall. But I got this. I can do this. So I'm going to change into my painting clothes and I'm going to start planning for this massive project. Go to that. All right, so here I come. Why I always insist on entering like that is beyond me. Just stop, please. Before I actually start painting, I'm just gonna go ahead and make myself comfortable. I've got out the good old iPad. Let me check out the space. What do I have to work with here? Uh, white. Okay, white. It's white. Big white. Got it. So I went ahead and quickly started working out what I wanted to do. This mural has been on my mind for a long while, but I hadn't really sat down and worked it out quite yet. So I drew out the room and then started going crazy with my design, which clearly involves a lot of rainbow. Because I love them all. I also tried to think about where the table was gonna be and a very rough idea of what part of the mural would be in the frame of the camera. That's so wonky, I, I can't. Me no likey straight lines and measurements. Can you tell? So this is not precise, but I honestly just did not care. This was for my purposes so I could visualize my idea really quickly. This is what I came up with. So neat and not chaotic at all. <laughs> My mural may or may not end up looking like this. Either way, I'm satisfied with this sketch, so um, I guess it's time to uh, actually go over there and uh, get started. I'm, I'm so scared. Standing up now. Boom, here I am in the space. This wall is massive. How am I even gonna paint all the way up there? Oh boy. Well, let's get this out of here. Okay, yeah. Getting started. After this, I just need to process really quick. Maybe a good stretch. Okay, now doing ballet. Right, don't even know what that is. So what's what's happening here? Let me diagnose this situation. This is definitely the biggest project that I've ever done. So this is just all the anticipation and me just being very overwhelmed. That's apparent. But I am going to get started. First, I need to move this massive table out of here. Luckily, it is on wheels, so it's easy. <laughs> Er, then if it weren't on wheels. Get that out of here. But then I thought, wait, shouldn't I be using the table to kind of plan out where the art is gonna go? <sighs> Moving it back. I wanna know about how much of the wall you can see in the frame. So I set everything up how it's gonna be when I'm filming here. And using some tape, I'm marking the area out roughly. That looks rough. <laughs> Whatever. Now again, moving everything out. There. These are old pants and they're falling down. Better eat more. Oreos and coffee. Wow. I'm really serious about nutrition. I actually don't often eat things like Oreos, but I was stressed, okay? And oh, look at that. Finally, I have an art tool in my hand. It's a pencil and I'm way too proud of that. Taking my wonderful sketch, I'm gonna start transferring my design onto the wall. And of course, I immediately discovered that my drawing was completely out of proportion, but that's fine, I'm figuring it out. You can't really see what I'm doing at all, but I assure you, you're not missing much. Just stop. 
Does that sound like something beautiful is being created? No. In fact, here it is. Wow, that's a, uh, that ought to give you faith in my art skills. I bought all of these to hold my custom mixed colors just for this mural. And of course, a ton of regular acrylic paint. And here we go, starting with red. It's blood. No, no, it's not. Why did I do that? Adding a ton of pink and a bunch of white to lighten it up. There we go, that's my custom red. And I have to mix up the whole rainbow of colors, both a light and a dark version of each color. Moving down the rainbow, we're at yellow now. I added a bunch of this to my paint mixture as well. I wanna make sure that it has a completely matte finish because glossy can be so annoying to work with when you're filming. It's the worst thing ever. Also, it does help the paint go a little bit further. Yellow's done, looking luscious, yummy. That's not yummy. This was actually a ton of paint to mix. On camera, these don't look like they're that large of containers, but they really are, okay? Okay. I think I was mixing paint for a full hour before I finally got the full rainbow of colors in a pastel and a slightly darker version of each. 12 colors in total, if you couldn't do that math. Thank you. And I was so ready to start painting at this point, I just kind of jumped into it without ceremony. All that build up, and then that's how I started start like that. But finally, I am painting. I've already dropped paint on the fresh new floors. Don't even bother. It's it's just, it's gonna happen. You're wasting your time right now. All right, here we go. We're moving now. I'm starting with this one massive rainbow that swoops across the entire wall. It's this one in the sketch. And I was really just roughing it in, not too worried about neatness. I was just gonna get the color on the wall and then I'll go back and fix up everything. And oh, starting on the major intersection. I want this point to be right behind me when I'm filming. So I'm kind of starting with the main focal point and then I'll just work my way out from there. And actually at this point, I was really enjoying this. There was something kind of freeing about painting these huge areas of color that just keep on going and keep on going. But then, uh-oh, guess what? I've already screwed up. The critical intersection is actually made up of two pastel rainbows. What I've done here is one pastel rainbow and one bright rainbow. Oh no. This is tragic. Also, that paint was still wet. Hmm. So I'm gonna go over this again and switch to pastel colors because that is important. Yeah, yeah, no problem, sure. Go ahead and redo that whole section there. You got all the time in the world, friend. Actually, I only allocated three days of time in my schedule to finish this entire mural, so chop chop. Here I go touching up some of that back rainbow a little bit. And just like that, wow, this was actually the end of day one. This is as far as I was able to get in an entire day of painting. I think I underestimated how long this is gonna take because this is not even close to a third of the way done, but boom, I'm back. This is my face the very next day. Adorable. I'm in the same clothes, different undershirt though. Also, I did wash these clothes, but they are officially paint stained. That's fine. So is 60% of my wardrobe. But I'm ready to start the day and hoping to make a little bit more progress than yesterday. And this is the face of someone who is questioning their ability to complete that task. And this is the face of someone who is in denial and trying to exude confidence. The reality is there is a lot left to do. I was sadly disappointed by the pitiful amount of progress that I had made. However, I am enjoying the colors. Can you tell they're my favorite? They're like the exact same colors as my nails. Back to painting, starting on on the ground today where I noticed the presence of an unwelcome guest. There's an outlet in my mural. I'm just gonna get rid of that for now and I'll deal with that later. Now I mentioned that I've been thinking about this mural for a long time. I've put a lot of thought into what would be cool and important enough to use as a background for my videos. This is a lot of pressure. This is going to be seen over and over and over and I'm gonna have to look at it and you are gonna have to look at it assuming you're gonna watch my videos in the future. Future. Am I gonna like it? Are you gonna hate it? I don't know. I'm scared. I'm a little freaking out. I thought about painting my characters, but I already have my whole squishy shelf background and that's got tons of my characters on it already. So I wanted to do something very different with a whole new vibe. That's really what I'm trying to paint here. Not an image, but a vibe. Anyone ask me what I'm painting? I'm painting a vibe. 
I want it to be bright, colorful, and clean, and I definitely knew that this was not the time to try something like totally uncharacteristic of me. This is going to be in a lot of my videos, and so I want it to feel like typical me. Also, you may be wondering, girl, why are you painting all the way over there? <laughs> You're not even gonna be able to see that on camera. Yes, I could have just painted a rectangular painting that fits right within the frame of the camera, and that's actually what I was going to do at first. But then I realized if I ever want to turn the camera and get different angles, you're gonna see this very ugly edge where the mural stops. So you know what, that's fine. We'll just take this all the way, go floor to ceiling, no big deal. And now here I am, 16 hours in, and look who's suffering for it. Oh, oh gosh, that ponytail, that is looking rough. And hi, this is me, end of day two. Woo hoo 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 woo woo. Whatever that means. I don't know what that was, like some sort of siren. Let me tell you, I was hurting. I felt back pain like no other, but this is what I was able to accomplish on day two. I got a lot further than I did on day one, but I still have so, so much to do. And uh, hello. I'm back in my old studio, not old studio, because I'm still actively gonna be using this space. Anyway, I'm here in my other studio room, the one that's in my, my basement. To avoid all future confusion, I'm going to name these two spaces permanently. This is the art room, that is the studio. Art room, studio. Don't forget it, there's gonna be a quiz next week. Spoiler alert, this mural was not able to be finished in three days as I was planning, which means I ended up with a massive amount of footage. So, it's a two-parter. I'm gonna turn it into like a fun thing when we have to break up video into two parts to try to trick you into thinking that you like doing it that way. We're gonna have a dance. The two-parter dance. Is this catching on? No. So I will be coming to you next week with part two. I'm gonna finish up the entire mural and bonus, I'm gonna give you a little mini tour of my new studio as well. So please come back for part two because it's gonna get a whole lot better. I hope you guys are excited to see next week's video and I will see you then. Bye. <laughs>